All right, so I wound up buying three rooms today for a combined total of, what was it, $475. This is, the, uh, this is one of the rooms. This is the first one I'm going to look through, so let's go, and, uh, let's go and take a look, see what we can find. So this is a small room. You can see that it's not very large, not much stuff in here, but what prompted me to, to bid on this room is I saw this speaker right here, looked interesting. I saw back here what looked like a couple of prints of Marilyn Monroe. So let me take a look, see what those are. All right, there's a uh, Marilyn Monroe photograph, and then there's another one back here. I believe it's also Marilyn Monroe. I gotta be careful with this. All right, well, I think it is. I don't want to uh, wrestle it out. And then I saw this box right over here. So I was interested to see what was in that case. So this was a $100 room. Didn't pay a lot of money for it, but let's take a look, see what we can find here. All right, so this is the second room that I bought. In that last room, didn't find anything of uh, great value. I did find that big boombox speaker and those Marilyn Monroe photos. There was a couple of other things. Now I'm going to uh, look through these boxes and bins. I think there is a real flat screen in here. And uh, anyway, that's what prompted me to bid on this room. I saw that flat, sh flat screen and figured that there had to be more value. So let's open it up and see what we get. So I opened up this box, and inside is a computer case. I've got a uh, Dell notebook computer here on this side. And uh, I just got a, a Dell note notebook computer here. There it is, hiding underneath the papers. And then over here is a, a little kid's kind of a play notebook computer. I give that to my son. Opened up this box, found a couple interesting things. This. Japanese vase right here, made in Japan. That's pretty nice. I'll find out a little bit more about that. Otherwise, you know, I still have these other bins to go through. Uh, what did I pay for this room? Two twenty-five, I think. So hopefully, I get that at least that in value. We shall see. So here it is the next day, and I clean, cleaned out my three storage lockers. I still have all these boxes and bags to go through and more stuff in my Jeep. Um, I sorted everything out. Here's three bins of garbage that is going out. It'll never cease to amaze me um, the, the sheer junk that people hold on to and pay good money to store. Here's that black box that I saw in that one locker. Uh, this was a bust, nothing in it, and the box itself is a pile of junk, so that's going out on the curb. But I think I scored big on the, on the last locker that I, I went through, which was today. I emptied it out. I found this beautiful, sharp, flat panel uh, TV, uh, complete with the remote control. I found this uh, iLive. It looks like an um, iPod docking station and stereo, complete with the remote. found this little Memorex um, DVD player down there, again, complete with the remote. This uh, little auxiliary Pac-Man game uh, should plug into any TV, including this this uh, Sharp TV I found here. Oh, also the uh, TV stand that all the stuff's on. Found that also in the last storage locker. Found these uh, really nice leather jackets. Pele, or Pele Pele, I guess is what they're called. This one too, in my area, these kinds of jackets sell for pretty substantial amounts of money. And then finally, what I think is maybe the most important item I found in this treasure hunt of mine is in one of the units I bought, it was a $100 unit, and I found a whole lot of nothing. But then I came across this Jackie Robinson card. And what it is, it's a Jackie Robinson card where he's promoting a cigarette brand. And according to the information on the back of this card, it was printed in 1947. Now, Jackie Robinson, of course, is one of history's most well-known and well-loved black athletes. And I just have to think that this card to a sports, to a sports memorabilia collector 
is got to be worth uh, quite a bit of money. And I just think it's so funny that a professional athlete back in the day would actually be promoting a cigarette brand. But that's what they did back then. So that's it. I'd, I'd have to say that overall it was a, a nice treasure hunt, a very successful treasure hunt. And now uh, comes time for me to start liquidating uh, these treasures and going through everything else I, I, I found that's uh, still in the Jeep. So that's it. That's Dan signing off for now. It's Friday. Wishing everyone a nice weekend, and I'll talk to you next week. Take care.